Oh, and obviously a very close contest today. Can you just talk us through the process of how um, the council came to the decision that they came to today? Yeah, look, a very, uh, a very, you know, close call, I guess, in the end uh, for us, the end of a long process in, in terms of host selection, you know, originally six expressions of interest, two really strong bids, two great presentations today, both very uh, very compelling presentations and obviously disappointingly for Australia, New Zealand came out on top, but uh, you know, from a World Rugby perspective, we knew that either of them would do a great job. And what was your view on, on how today transpired, how critical did those final presentations end up being, do you think? Yeah, I honestly don't think they're that critical in the end. I think there was great confidence in the room that both of those bidders could do, could deliver a great Women's Rugby World Cup. Um, so I suspect that the unions and the regions have, you know, have made their decisions based on the evaluation reports they've received and the information they've received. And what do you think got New Zealand over the line in the end? I think it's hard to say. Uh, you know, ultimately, I guess they've got a, a superstar, you know, world champion team that that people want to see playing in New Zealand and play at home, and I think maybe that that kind of emotional card, you know, was a, was a factor for them. But but again, I think very fine margins, two uh, two very strong bids. And obviously, there's a, a women's World Cup in 2025 as well. Would you encourage Australia to be again? Would you like them to throw their hat in the ring? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know we, we've seen through this process, and we and we know anyway that the, the women's rugby is you know is a huge part of rugby in Australia, but also you know massive part. Australia is a massive part of women's rugby for us. So I think you know a World Cup in Australia for for women's World Cup would be fantastic in the future, and I don't think they should be too deterred by uh, by this one.